welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I made these gorgeous glitter pens. I first saw these posted by Jessica Flynn of Flynn Sisters Boutique. I thought they looked like so much fun and so I decided to try it myself and now I'm going to share with you how I did mine. So that's enough for me. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here are the things you're going to need to get started with making your glitter pens. Obviously, you're going to need your pens. These are Papermate Inkjoy gel pens. They come in black, blue, and other multicolors. You can order them from Walmart or Amazon. I got these at Walmart, but I ordered blue ones from Amazon uh, today, which should be in tomorrow. You're going to need some Vaseline. I'll explain why later. Your tacket, because we're going to do the tacket method with these. Pencils, paintbrush, some pliers, and of course your glitter. And I will go through these glitters as I am using them, which uh, is glitter makes it. Again, that's mostly what I use. Okay, so we are going to start obviously by taking our pens out. I'm never good at opening these packages. I don't know about anybody else. Do you have problems opening these things? See all this rips off oh. and then leaves all of this that you guys dig in. So put these aside. So here you have your four pens. Grab a cup or some sort of container to put the pieces in because you're going to take your cups apart. You're going to, sorry, you're going to take your pens apart. Unscrew the bottom and you're going to have your top your ink, which these are refillable. So apparently you can buy refills to put in these when they run out. So these aren't disposable, which is really nice um, because you hate to make these pens really pretty and then have to throw them away when you run out of your ink. And there's two pieces that come out of here. There's um, the silver piece, which is the quicker, sorry. And this goes in there. So remember how you're taking them apart so that you can put them back together the same way. Let's take that out. Pop that in there. Okay, so put that aside. Now that you have your pens all disassembled, you have these. I bend them up. These are gonna come off. Some people use pliers to twist them off. Uh, I, I did use pliers um, and just twist them and it comes right off. Or I have cutters too, which I used also. These little cutter, these little cutter tools. Actually, this works better. Just grab it and twist. So now they're off. We're going to throw those in the trash. The other stuff. And so what you have left, there is a little knob there. There's a little knob there. There's a little tiny bump right here. And then on the back side, you have this heart. So there are a couple ways you can take, you can smooth that out. You can take a sanding block uh, to smooth it. You can use your craft knife, which... I wouldn't trust myself with because yeah, me and sharp things, we're not real good friends. So I prefer not to use a craft knife if I don't have to. Uh, sanding block, I use this little rotary tool. This one's called U-Tool, cordless um, rotary tool. This thing has actually been really great. It was very inexpensive. I got it from Amazon. Fairly certain it was less than $20. I'm gonna try to find it and link it for you below. Uh, but this is amazing. Uh, so it you know, has three speeds, one, two, and three. And that's what I'm gonna to do to take my little nubs off. So I'm gonna do that off camera because it will, it will kind of, the, the splinters and stir, the uh, plastic will shoot around. So I'm gonna do it in my trash can. All right, so I'll be right back when this is done. Okay, so now that I have sanded off the little nubs with my rotary tool, 
I took 220 grit and I sanded the smooth part. It's kind of like a window part. I don't, I didn't sand the, this is like a rubbery grip and I did not sand that. Uh, I did, I sanded it like I used, I, when I did, before I did this, I did a couple where I sanded it and I didn't sand it and it didn't make a difference. So I'm not gonna go ahead and waste my time sanding. So after you um, sand them down, spray them with your 91% and give them a good white because then we're going to spray paint these in the colors that we're going to glitter them. So it's much like prepping a cup, only you're doing it to a pen. You're, you know, you're prepping, you're sanding, you're priming it with paint, and then we're gonna go ahead with our glitter. All right, so these are dry. I'm going to, so pencils. Pencils I found to work the best for me. If you have dowels, that's great. And these pencils in particular are a little bit skinnier. I, ha I ha just had a bunch of them. I don't even know where I got them from, but I had a bunch of these. They're actually Valentine's pencils and they fit perfectly in here. I found regular pencils didn't fit as well. So I've been using these. I like these a lot and you're going to stick them in the end like this. It's going to get snug in there. So it's nice and perfect. It's not gonna, it's not going to fly off for you. Um, but it's not going to be so tough that you're like struggling to get it out either. So pencils, dowels, uh, even straws. Straws are a little flimsy, but they do work. I did use a straw and, um, you know, I didn't have any issues with it. So would I think, you know, not whatever you have laying around, but most people, especially if you have kids, got a ton of pencils laying around. You can use those, dowels, or um, straws. Okay, so I'm going to spray paint these and then I will be back. Okay, my pens are now dry. I spray painted, um, I used the two times Rust-Oleum. I prefer the Rust-Oleum over the Krylon. It's just a personal preference. People, you know, some people love the Krylon. Uh, I like the Rust-Oleum. So I used the red, uh, the black. This is Persian Lilac and then white and silver, silver metallic. So I made this uh, holder out of a old hog box, just poked some holes and it helps with my pins, holding my pencils. So tacket method, we're gonna get our tacket and we're going to get our brush. And I didn't know if this was gonna work because the videos that I watched of other people doing it, they used the epoxy method, so they applied epoxy. I'm, I decided to try tack it, and it worked for me. So it's nice and easy. Just take your tack it. I use Aileen's tack it over and over. I've not found it in the stores. Uh, I found it on Amazon, and I should really get a copy of. Uh, the bottle to show you what it looks like. So just going to apply this. It's going to be white. When you apply it, it's going to dry clear and it's going to dry sticky. And that's what you want. You want it to dry sticky. Usually, you know, we use Mod Podge and, you know, we have to get our glitter on before it dries. Well, with the Aliens tack it over and over, you want it to dry because it's going to dry sticky.
my pens are nice and dry. Make sure they are nice and dry. If you do not and they're still wet, like a globby wet, if that makes any sense because it's glue and glue is supposed to be wet, but uh, if it is If it is wet, it's gonna glob up, and I know this because I've done it. So now we're just gonna we're just gonna tap on our glitter. Uh, this is Red Solo Cup by Glitter Makes It. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous red fine glitter. I use fine glitter on these. I have no interest in using chunky glitter and dealing with rolling and flattening and trying to get it smooth when you do your epoxy. I have a hard enough time do dealing with chunky glitter on cups. I uh, just, I, and personally, I prefer the fine glitter anyway uh, when doing this project, but it's personal preference. You can do chunky. I wouldn't recommend super, super chunky. I think you're gonna have a hard time. And this is the only one that I'm not using uh, glitter makes it it's Starcraft volcano it's a real pretty holographic black or dark gray I'm not really sure I think it's a it's a holographic black so just pouring it on and then when I get to the part where I'm gonna blend I angle this take my glitter up higher to get to try to get the smoothest blend I can get never really been the best at ombre still getting I'm getting better for sure but you want to make sure this is good and covered get your end don't forget to save your glitter because you do not want to you do not want to lose any of this gorgeous glitter you can pour it back in your bottle and reuse it for your next project and you can also now, because this is a, a blend, I'm not gonna reuse this. I'll put it, I have like a glitter container that I just put like random glitters in. It's just this hot glitter mix. And that's like my extras that I don't, that I can't put back in a bottle. So once you're done getting your glitters on and you think you've got good enough coverage, I actually wanna just put a little bit more of the red on. The red is not a holographic, and usually when you do tack it, you do it with holographic, but I've actually put this on using the tack it method and really liked it. It's not holographic, but it, just, it still looks really, really pretty. So you can actually leave your pen this way if you want, which see, it's, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. But I'm gonna tack it down because I like the way tack it looks. And for tacky, you just rub it in and you're just basically flattening your glitter out. I don't know if you can see what it's doing. It's getting sort of this rainbowy effect now. If you can see, oh, one, two. So you can see at the top, it's still kind of fluffy and down here it's like flat and smooth. I'm just gonna keep rubbing till it's smoothed down. I'm gonna go up at the top here with the red. And I'm just gonna flatten this down. This red has like deep red and kind of like a bright red. When you look at it, different lights, it's super, super pretty. And I'm just rubbing this down till it's nice and smooth. I use my fingers. I think Rachel on Mistel Nola's glitter was using a silicone brush as somebody had gave her as a tip. I've not tried it for doing, uh, for pressing down your glitter. Uh, oh my God, this is so pretty. I love this. This is gorgeous. All right, there it is. And your pen is glittered and it's pressed down for the tacket method. 
which is gonna make it really, really nice when you coat it with epoxy, you're not gonna have a whole lot of sanding to do. You are gonna see though with Tacket, because you're pressing the glitter down, there's like these little tiny dimples in the pen. I don't know if you can see these little tiny dimples in the pen. That was just how it naturally is. I'm okay with that. If you're not okay with that, don't flat, you know, don't do tack it. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside. And I'm gonna come back in with my black because I'm gonna do black and purple on this one. And you know, with these pens, just like cups, the sky's the limit. You can do whatever combination you want of colors. You can do solid colors, you can do rainbow color, you can do whatever you want. It's so fun when you have great glitters and, you know, this huge world of ideas and inspirations. It's just so much fun. Okay, so I got my black on.
my pens are all glittered they're all glittered up and you see these how gorgeous these are so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put two light coats of the clear coat on there and then I'm gonna get it on my turner and do the first coat of epoxy because I am gonna put decals on these so I will be back after my epoxy cures. Oh, and I forgot, I didn't want to skip a very important step. So before I put these on the turner with epoxy right here, I put Vaseline on to help slide this pen off when it's done in case the epoxy, I was sloppy because I am sloppy. Hold on, honey was uh, so it, keep it so it doesn't stick to the pencil uh, because it will. And also I stuff the ends with these and I'm gonna pull them out now because I don't want epoxy to get into those ends because I am sloppy when I do this. And now I'm just gonna let them turn for eight hours while I'm at work and I'll be back later to put the vinyl on and show you the finished product. Thanks, bye. Okay, so my pens have been turning for eight hours and they are cured enough to the touch. So now here comes the part where we start applying decals. Uh, I've picked, I'm gonna do a stripe, just a silver stripe on one. I am going to do my daughter's name in gold on another. You can't see this, I haven't weeded it yet because I'm gonna show you reverse weeding if you're not familiar with that technique. Uh, because we're going to be dealing with, you know, small print for these pens. Uh, you, I, I found for me, reverse weeding works better. And then um, just a couple of stickers that I pulled out of a sticker book just to put on the ends of some of these pens. I just thought they were really cute. So let's go ahead and get started with the silver stripe. So I cut this one on my Cricut machine and it was a 0 .10 uh, in the height. And you just put it on a diagonal if that's how you wanna do it. And you can put this on, you can put it straight up and down. You can, you know, twirl it any way you want. This is just how I did it. I'm actually going to do it closer. Sometimes you do this a lot before I figure out and get it exactly the way that I want it. Sometimes I do it too tight. Sometimes I do it too loose. So I actually like that one. Just make sure it's consistent and just twirl this around. Just keep twirling it. I don't know if you can see if my hand's in the way until you get up to the top. And that actually just worked out perfect. So the bottom needs a little trimming. There's a little bit that's hanging off here. I'm just gonna trim it with my scissors. And press it down. 
Make sure it's pressed down really well because you don't want your epoxy to get underneath it. And guys, this came out, these came out pretty smooth because I did the tacket method. So I only needed one coat of epoxy on these and these are smooth enough to put the decals on. All right, so there's that one. And this is silver foil. I ordered it from Amazon. It is Orcal Polyester Film 351 and it's this shiny silver. So I've had this for a while uh, and I like it. It's, it's, sometimes it can be kind of hard to work with. Foils are a pain in the butt and they, they show every little imperfection. Um, but it looks so pretty. All right, so that one is done. And now I'm gonna move on to, this is gonna be a simple one, just a flower at the top. So keep in mind too, when you're putting these on, if whoever you're making these for are right-handed or left-handed, remember this is the bottom of the pen. So when you're applying a name and the writing, they're gonna wanna look at their name. I made that mistake, so I don't wanna do that again. So I just wanna point that out to you. But for the purposes of putting this flower up at the top, that's not gonna matter. I'm gonna peel that off and I'm just gonna stick it to the top. Just a little flower at the top. And this is kind of like a water slide so you can see through it. So the black is shining through so it's not popping up. I may change this one out. I could lower it too. No, I don't wanna lower it. So we'll see, we'll see. I might, I'm probably gonna change that one. I don't like the way it looks. And then I have this pink flower that I'm gonna put on the white and silver. This one's also like a see-through, like a water slide would be. And I think this is gonna show up just nice. So, and I've gotta like, all right, so the white is the top. Gonna put that press from the center and work your way out. That's how I put my decals or my stickers on. Make sure to smooth it around. I ah, see I like this. I think this looks pretty. The flower and it wraps around. Really delicate. What I'm doing this because I don't have these on order so I don't have like names, otherwise I'd probably be just putting names on, on these. All right, so I like that. All right, and my daughter's name. So this is, the font's really small and I'm gonna reverse weed it. My daughter's name again on the Oracle 651 and I'm going to try this again and see how this works. And I also, I definitely didn't like that flower on here just because it was like see-through and the black was showing too much and you couldn't see it. So I went with a little purple heart instead. I'm just, I need to weed that out real quick. This was just a piece of vinyl that I had laying around, sparkly purple, really pretty. So I'm just gonna take that and do a simple heart up at the top, but nothing crazy. I mean, the pen itself is super pretty, so it doesn't need to be really busy, in my opinion. You can do whatever you want with yours, so look how cute. Just a little heart up at the top. All right, and so let's get to weeding this. So understand that sometimes things just don't work out right. I know sometimes I just go, I, like sometimes I have to recut re the same thing like over and over because I can't get it to lay flat or I haven't laid it right. Like it's just the way, it just, sometimes things just don't work out. So let's see. All right, so we're gonna try it. We're gonna now start to peel this. I've seen other 
reverse weighting where they stick the whole thing onto wherever they're placing it on the cup and then they weed it from there. I've not tried that. And this still isn't working out. I'm having a really tough time with this one. All right, here we go. Finally got it started. Such a super skinny line. And this, like weeding these teeny tiny little things take a lot of patience. If you're doing it this at night, you might want a glass of wine next to you. I peel really super slow too. I don't know if you guys have ever done this. I'm telling you, I've done this so many times where the vinyl, as I'm peeling it, sticks to itself and then pulls up what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to weed out. Oh my God, it drives me insane. All right, so I think, I'll just one little piece to pull out. All right, did it. Yay, did it. All right, so now I gotta get it on my pen again keep in mind right-handed which way this is the bottom this is the top the more rounded part that's where the little clicker is going to go through so right hand at my daughter's right handed so she writes we're going to want to look at it so we're just going to place the decal these pens are i think it's like four and a little over four inches so I cut these out the height of the name was the height is 0.56 on my Cricut and the length is four and a half in case you wanted to know all right so I'm just going to peel this back really slowly because it's super skinny and it could pull up. And there we go. Yay. Her name, Arya. All right, now we're ready to put a coat of epoxy and put the pens back together and we're ready to use them. So I'm gonna go ahead and epoxy and I will come back when I'm ready to reassemble these pens. I'm back and I have my helper today. This is my daughter, Aria. Say hi. Hi. Okay. So I checked my pens this morning and they were still, they weren't smooth enough. So put another round of epoxy on it. So I wound up putting two, uh, two coats of epoxy on after I did the decals. So now it is time to put the pens back together. Some of these needed a little bit of cleaning. And I think this one still needs a cleaning, so I'll show you how I do that. Aria likes to put these back together, so she's going to put these together while I cleaned this one. So I tried to put it in. It gave me kind of a tough time. There's a little bit of epoxy that got in this side, which, you know, sometimes you just can't help. I think what I'm going to do, I put Vaseline on the pencil on the pencil when I put it in. I think next time I'm gonna put a little Vaseline on the inside too. So it makes scraping out. So I'm using my craft knife, really super sharp, not for kids to use. So if kids are doing this, please have your mom or dad scrape this out with a sharp craft knife. What are you pointing at? You being the kid? and not being allowed to use this, right? Yeah. You're not allowed to touch this. This is way off limits for you. I was telling that in quiet voice. In quiet voice, okay. So, I think I got it. it wasn't too much in there. I'm gonna try to screw this on again. Still giving me a hard time. So I must've not got it. And my fingers are like slippery. And I can't see very well, so I'm going to put my granny glasses on. 
and keep scraping. I think it's in there. I just can't see it very well because it's a black inside. What are you making out there? Are you getting them together? Mm -hmm. One's not that gone. What's that? One's not that gone. Ah, there we go. I got it. All right, so hopefully it comes out in a good piece like this one just did. Got it, got it, got it. See? It's just like it just coats the threads just a little bit. Let's see. Ah, perfect. How's that one? How's that one? Perfect. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to put the shiny side in it. The other side, no problems at all, because I stuffed it with that, um, with the toothpick while I was epoxying, and then pulled it out. And this, and this. Now we have a gorgeous, this one's purple and black ombre, fully functioning gel pen. What do you think? How are you making out? Great. Great, let's see. And here is the white one with the flower, the white and the silver with the flower. And you've got the purple. I'm going to help with the red. Let's see if we can put that through. Uh, there we go. I'm supposed to be doing that for fun. For fun? Well, we'll take them apart and you can put them back together after we're done. How's that? All right, and this is Aria's pen. See, Aria, this is yours. So this is Aria's pen. And the last one we got here is this purple swirly. Take the cap off. And here's the purple swirly. So here you have it, folks. Glitter pens via Tacket Method worked beautifully. I hope that uh, you learned something, and please like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, check out the uh, kids are the best. Check out the glitter makes it superstars page where everybody posts their uh, wonderful projects with glitter makes it glitter. And I will see you next time. Oh, and if you have any comments, please post them below. Um, and I'll try to link a few things, um, some of the supplies I use down below. Thank you. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Say bye.